Wow, how impressive is the green iguana? You know, I've made several videos about this and in my videos, I've had a lot of comments, questions, uh, social media on that I was wrong in my information about these guys. So let me stand clear that I am not wrong. Clint's reptiles classified them as a 2.5 on handability. To be honest, I would probably give it a two. I have had many iguanas. <laughs> See, the thing is, honestly, I've grown up with probably about six iguanas of her size or bigger. I've had one. One iguana out of the six that were tame. To be honest, before I started this video, getting her out, I was tore up. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter how great your iguana is or not. Their instinct is to hold on. They do not want to fall. And they have talons. These five on each hand make that 20 talons razors that literally tear into you because they're wanting to scurry up your arm or, or make sure they're gripping onto your wrist so that they don't fall or when you're getting them out, telling you. The handability just from that factor alone is why I would give it a two. But see, the cool thing is I'm just that guy. I love big snakes and I love feisty iguana. But that's just it. You gotta have a passion. You gotta love their, their feistiness. As you can tell, look, she's got her tail cocked, but the thing is I know she's not left-handed. <laughs> Can't even hardly do it. What, you gonna do it? She's like, I want to, but I'm weak on my left. It's almost like in basketball, I'm making her go to her left. <laughs> but I love this girl. She was a rescue. Uh, she was nothing but skin and bones when I got her. The thing is, is that I honestly have her in a palace of a cage. If you click right here, you can see that. You can see all of the things that I've given this girl so that she has all the room and love she wants. But it is not going to change the fact that she is a green iguana and they are just feisty. I love it though. I look forward to it. I love getting her out and having to wrestle and, and do these kind of things. Yes, there are times I wish I could get her out and she loved me for everything that I do. But again, she's never gonna change who she is. As you can tell, she's being phenomenal right now and letting me pet her. And to even further emphasize on how these iguanas are, I've brought in my, my green iguana expert. Colton, what's her name? Sarah. Yeah. And what is she? A green iguana. That's right. And is she your buddy? Yeah, but she's feisty, huh? Do you like to hold her? <laughs> but I never hold her. You never hold her, why is that? Because she might scratch me with her claws. Yeah, because she scratches you like daddy with her claws, right? So again, my kids love her from a distance. I am probably the only one in the house besides my wife who gets her out uh, mainly for baths and things like that. But my point is that these guys are just notorious feisty animals. And honestly, she doesn't really bite because their bites can be brutal. I let her bite me one time and here's the difference. Many lizards will bite and they'll bite and let go. The thing about iguanas is that their natural instinct is almost like a shark. Uh, they bite and they want to shake or roll. So when she bit, I let her bite my knuckle. The thing was, I was thinking that she was just gonna bite and let go and she didn't. She bit and shook. And man, I'm telling you, it did a lot of damage and she's nothing but maybe slightly over a three foot iguana. I've heard just awful stories of, of five, six foot iguanas pretty much taking off somebody's finger from a bite. So they do, they have a very nasty bite. They have extremely tough jaws. Two fun and then crazy facts about iguanas right here on top of her head. Oh, look at that, she let me love her. Actually, on top of their eye, they have what's considered that third eye. And what that's for is when they're sitting up in the trees and a predator comes along, you know, especially the, the birds of prey swoops over, that actually picks up the shadow that comes over top of them and just like that, they're out the tree, in the water, and they're gone. So that eye actually protects them a little bit from predators from above. It's a really, really cool feature about iguanas that a lot of people don't really know. Crazy fact about iguanas, something to be make sure you're wary about, especially as you can tell I have young children, is that their poop is known to have salmonella in it. Okay, obviously that can make you very sick, okay? They, uh, they poop and pee at the same time. They make an awful mess, which is kind of a downfall of, of a green iguana, but, uh, I want to make sure you guys are aware of that fact because make sure you wash your hands or whoever's hands come in contact with it, especially when you're cleaning the cage before you eat because their poop 
can and will make you extremely sick. And I would hate to see that happen of something you didn't know. To be honest, I didn't know until I started doing a lot of research on these guys back in the day. So I just wanted to pass that knowledge on to you, a cool fun and a crazy fact about iguanas. As you can tell, this is what they do. Like they wanna go, you know, she wants to, she wants to get on the table. She wants to feel safe and secure. Right before we started that, she was climbing and walking all over me. And that's just what they do. And the thing is, is I literally have just clipped her nails. Uh, so it's not too bad, but I'm telling you, that's when the nails just do so much damage. She's being extremely calm at the moment, but as you can tell, like there she goes. And this is just what they do. It's, it's nothing vicious. There's nothing aggressive about this. It's just what iguanas want to do. To the tail, look, now I'm on her right side. She's like, oh, I got him. She's got, it, she's got it cocked, ready to go. They are, like, their nails are just the thing that makes them not such great pets. But I hope you guys did find this video uh, a little educational. You know, as I was always say, make sure you do your research and, and watch some people like Clint's Reptiles and, and Jay at Prehistoric Pets um, about some of these iguanas and uh, maybe even Chandler's Wildlife and just get other opinions, but always watch more than one. I would probably say watch eight or 10 people that talk about iguanas and you're gonna realize that they just don't make great pets, uh, especially on the family friendly aspect of them. Again, I'm just that guy. I love these girls. I love these guys. I think they're beautiful and amazing creatures. Uh, they're just gorgeous in my opinion. I, I, I would probably have 10 if I could, but leave some comments down below if you got any other, uh, other things maybe I didn't mention or you're wondering about. Uh, especially if you have kids and I'd love to help you with that hit the subscribe button and then make sure you hit that bell so that you never miss another video of us talking about reptiles here at divine reptiles tell them say enjoy your day can I give you a kiss she's like no man not today <laughs> see ya